Hello everyone, welcome to my Revit Studio. Today I'm going to show you how I'm going to model this beautiful bathroom on the right hand side here in Revit 2019. There will be three separate videos. The first video will be about how I prepare the Revit file before we start model the bathroom. The second video will be about how I'm going to model this beautiful custom made vanity as part of the preparation to model the bathroom. And the last video will be about you know, how we put everything together and how we present it to the client so that you know, we get approval from the client and we can you know, finish the job. I will show you step by step of how I'm doing things. And if you have any question, you know, feel free to leave a comment below and I will try to answer the question as, you know, as much as I can. Obviously, this is the way I'm doing things. It might not be 100% perfect, but this is something I want to share with everyone. If you have a better way of doing it, just let me know and comment below. And you know, I'm, I'll, I also want to learn new thing anyway. So, thank you, and let's get started. Before we start model the bathroom, we need to know what we model. So I already did a quick sketch here. Um, this is a quick uh, layout of the bathroom. We we have a four meter by five point four meter uh, bathroom. It's quite quite a, quite a big bathroom. So in this bathroom, we will have a freestanding uh, bathtub, and then we have its own shower space, and and have a quite large. Um, um, vanity, custom match one, obviously with some overhead cabinet with the, and the overhead cabinet will be mirror. So we will have also maybe two hook to hang the clothes here and then probably some display unit in here down here. So in this bathroom, because we have a freestanding bath here, so I want to have a very large uh, window in here so you know when we have shower or when we take a bath we, we can look to the outside some people don't like it but you know for the for the die and for 3d render it look quite good so or why not, why not? yeah so for the for the material we will have um, two two different fro uh, floor finishes so the first one will be a towel like this probably you know 600 by 600 uh, floor towel dark gray and then this uh, will be timber um, timber flooring or maybe maybe some timber slat like uh, I'll show you later in, in, in Rabbit yeah so for this elevation one here which is this one here so so what we have uh, with this elevation what we can see is this is a free bathtub here uh, we have a very you know a large window all the way to the ceiling and and then we got a display unit on on one side and the other side we just you know just plan um you know decoration that's that sort of thing and the ceiling will have sort of a, a reset like this so and then we put some lighting out here yet for as a feature on on the on on this elevation here so as you can see we have the that's that that uh, window that we're talking about the last one here and then this is a very big vanity with two um, two basin and and then probably one two three four panel door with with, uh, with a stone bench here like that and that's the toilet here and this is a mirror um, overhead cabinet so quite basic the uh, wood towel here we probably go with the hex, hex, hexagon uh, wood towel uh, a smaller button so I'll show you later in in the in Revit and then the rest will just be the the rest of the the wall will just be concrete texture, like you know. Uh, we'll have the flameless uh, glass here on the way to the ceiling, and and that's a wall-mounted um, shower drill. So, in ele elevation, what you can see is um, that that the flameless uh, glass go on the way to the ceiling, and then behind is uh, it the uh, wall tower with with the same uh, hexagon hexagon black tower. 
and then we have the two hook here so the two with the two with the hook for the for the you know, to hang the clothes so i normally go roughly about 1.8 meter high from the from the floor and, and then obviously that the uh, butt top we're talking about and the display um, unit behind it so it, it actually quite a, but again you know that's going to be just just a uh, concrete texture and the ceiling will be white uh, white color so it'll be painted white so now we have a bathroom layout the next step we will need to specify the bathroom uh, product i normally specify a uh, karoma uh, product for most of my project so i just go to the karoma website to search for what i need a uh, good thing is karoma have uh, provide a beam library where uh, we, we can search for pretty much any of the uh, of their product in, from there so as you can see uh, karoma they provide uh, uh, many different format for up to for us to choose from so we have sketchup uh, rabbit uh, lumion and uh, 3ds max and i also uh, uh, archicad archicad model as well so and and the way they um they um, set up their library is actually quite easy to uh, find the product that we need so from toilet suit to um, bath top you know basin mixer tap um, you know, bathroom accessory showers and, and kitchen sink and, and so on so it's actually quite easy to uh, to 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 download their, their product this is a very useful website for interior designer and also architect. So I, I recommend you to check this out in your own time you know, to, to get to know the product. So it is quite easy to to find the product that you need from, from, from their website. So for example, if you want to have, if you want to find the toilet, so you just click to the toilet and uh, uh, icon here and go to, for example, wall face and we just click to whatever the the family that we want to use and in here you can find then the name of the product that uh, Karuma have and also the image of the product and also down down here you can actually um, you know choose what um, what family type you want to use it would be a rabbit to just mark to your Lumion, Lumion and um, SketchUp uh, model as well so just, uh, just click this uh, and save it to the location that you want to use yeah and for example if you um, for, if you know the product name you can just type in the search bar and uh, and to find that product as well so when downloading the family I always download the product image as well so click to click right click and uh, save the image to you know the location that you want and also and then go ahead to uh, download the, the Revit file as you can see actually quite, uh, quite straightforward and quite easy to, to use and they also um, have the price as well as the, the dimension in here for you to uh, you know, to understand their product so it's quite good website to go with One, we have downloaded all of the uh, family from the Karoma website. Next step you want to do is select all of the uh, family and drag it into our uh, Revit booking file. Because most of the Karoma uh, family is in Revit 2014 or 15, and the model will be upgraded to uh, the auto that Revit 2019 that I use. And that's it. You know, that's how you load on the 
download uh, family from the internet into our working file in Revit. Uh, for bathroom lighting, we will use down light. So I'll just go to the Revit City website and search for down light. And just download it to our just download the, the file. And, and then load it into our obviously we need to update it and load it into our um, web. to create material in Revit is actually quite easy go to the menu tab click to the material icon a material a material browser window will pop up like this click to this icon down here create new material we name the material the first material we want to uh, we want to create is the floor tile 600 by 600 in the surface pattern go uh, Pick the model pattern. You should be able to find the six hundred by six hundred tile here. Click OK. Apply. The next material you want to create is the timber for timber flooring material under the bathtub and the shower area. So we need the material. Timber floor. Go to the survey pattern. Click to the click to this uh, area here. We couldn't find any of the wood hatching in here. So what we can do is go to the Revit CD website. Click to the timber hatch. We will you will be able to find quite a few um, wood hatching uh, of your region here or choose the wood field uh, hatch click uh, click download uh, now if nothing pop up what you can do is click here to download you will see, you will see the text like this so what you have to do is save as and just save it to the location you want to save and okay so let's just go to that uh, so what you will have to do is just rename this and delete the extension here and that should be good to go now go back to your rabbit which you uh, Rabbit file. So click the new field pattern here. Go custom browse. You should be able to see the wood field hatch that you just downloaded uh, previously. Click and OK. Uh, OK. Apply. Oh, good. The next material you want to create is the uh, a feature tile that we talked about previously which is the hexagon um, wood tile so again new material we name it go to the sub pattern and uh, model and model a uh, hatch Again, you probably we won't probably won't be able to find any of those um, hatch from the Revit template. So just go to the Revit um, CD and again go to download and just you know, download the, the hatching. Um, for example, something like this. We I will download something from the Revit uh, 
family are from the very city. So go to um, the new pattern one, click custom, browse, and it's already here. So just go OK. And that's a pattern I downloaded from the River City. So click OK. OK. The next material we're going to create is the corporate texture wall render that we talked about before. So again, go to create new material, rename it. Now, surface pattern. Just pick the concrete tech, uh, hack that already exists in the Revit file. Click OK. I normally don't uh, set up the parent for any of my material. The reason being is I don't use Revit for any of the 3D render. I use the other third-party programs such as uh, Lumion to to you know, create a faster image, uh, fa faster render. And you know, it's much better because Revit it could take to one or two or even three hour to create uh, to render a very small image anyway. So it's better to just see Revit for modeling and documentation, but not for to render. So that's my uh, recommendation. But you can always try you know, try to to use Revit to to render if you want to. So okay. Okay. All right, everyone. So this is the end of the first video. So in the next video, I'm gonna show you how I model this beautiful custom-made uh, vanity here. And uh, I hope you enjoy my video and get some good tip and trick out of it. Uh, if you like my video, uh, don't forget to like and comment or subscribe to my channel so you won't miss out any of my next video. Uh, for now, goodbye and stay safe, guys. See ya.